So I went back to school to study astronomy. I got to study radio astronomy, which is different because it's not the, the telescopes that you can see with your eyes. It's radio telescopes. They look like giant satellite dishes. So if you ever see like your, even your direct TV and cable dish, those are like a foot across. Radio dishes are like 30, 40, 50, 100 feet across. But we use them because if you look at things in the sky with different types of light, which you'll learn about in school, you see different things. Like, have you ever seen night vision that the uh, army or military has where they have those goggles? It's heat vision. So they're seeing infrared, which is like the heat from your body. Um, but we see heat from the universe as well. So there's infrared telescopes, and then there's visible telescopes, and then there's radio telescopes, and there's even x-ray telescopes, like when you go to the dentist or the doctor and you have to get x-rays. We have telescopes like that, too, that look at the universe, because there's x-rays coming from the universe. Which is pretty cool. The climate has changed before, so why is it different now? It's a good question. Right. Exactly right. The climate has changed before. It's changed a lot. So the reason why the climate's changed in the past, we kind of have ideas about why that's happened. So we, I know we're on Earth, and we don't really realize it because we're, we're standing on Earth, but um, when Earth rotates around the sun, it doesn't exactly rotate the same way over long periods of time. They're called the Milankovitch cycles. Um, you do not have to remember, there'll be no test on that, maybe, I don't know, the teacher's in the back, maybe there's a test on that, I don't know, I don't want to put words in his mouth. Uh, but, uh, basically what happens is, you have, the way that the Earth revolves around the Sun can be either more oval-like or more circle-like, and it changes like it's getting squished. Um, and the way, and it, depending on where you are in that cycle, means you get a different amount of energy from the Sun that actually reaches Earth. Um, and that's just one way you can change the climate from the kind of outside-in sort of um, action. We try to make sure that we take the science that we do and put it out there for other people who might not connect with science on a regular basis. So can you see what's behind me here, this poster? Does anybody recognize what that is? Yeah, it's French. It's not on the air anymore, but this is one of the posters I could grab so that I could bring it into my office. What we do is we work with the writers, the directors, the producers, the production designers, all the people in Hollywood that make film and television shows that sometimes are directly related to science, like Star Trek, which has a lot of science in it, or Star Wars, we've worked with them, but sometimes it's in surprising ways.